Congratulations on starting a filmmaking career, your first short film is around the corner and you are probably already trying to figure out what equipment you'll need to get started. Fortunately, most feature films have many important tools available for young filmmakers namely big stuff such as camcorders and lights, still, there are accessories, expendables, and other pieces of gear that you'll want to have on hand or own yourself, so what exactly do you need to be prepared for a short film, luckily, not all that much. So here are some budget-friendly equipments you need for producing a short film. To get started, one can likely get away with a camcorder, mirrorless camera, or DSLR with high-quality Full HD video capabilities. It is quite easy to get an inexpensive model with 4K video these days. So that is definitely worth looking into. If you are just starting your filmmaking career and you are lucky enough to have access to great modern cameras, then you should be okay getting something relatively cheap for your personal kit. We would recommend a current mirrorless model, and some of the most common for beginners would be the Sony A6400 and Fujifilm X-T30. You could also go the camcorder route, though it is turning into more of a niche these days. The latest one type camcorders are the most interesting and offer a great price for the features available. In addition, you could consider adding a GoPro or DJI Osmo action for some specific shots where you don't want to risk your regular camera, but at the end, if you have the cash, you can just go for it and invest in a Canon C200 or Sony FS5 II, both excellent cinema cameras, all of these options, when handled properly, can create amazing cinematic footage. If you want to make some serious investments, one would ideally say go for good lenses and accessories that will last for years to come, which leads us to our next section. If this is your first interchangeable lens system, it is hard not to advise going with a versatile kit zoom. The bundled zoom lens can do a decent job and shouldn't be avoided. Good technique will allow you to make great films, regardless of equipment. You should look into getting some new lenses though. Some that will be good even when you get your next camera. If you do want to zoom, perhaps for documentary or run and gun filmmaking. You will want to look for terms such as parfocal and constant aperture. Parfocal means that focus breathing is non-existent, allowing you to zoom the lens without shifting the focus position. Constant apertures mean that the aperture won't change as you adjust zoom position. This is important in video where you need things to stay consistent as you make adjustments during a shot. The best solution is to pick up a large 82mm variable ND filter and a set of step-up rings. This lets you use the same filter for any lens. If you have access to a gear locker that has lighting equipment, it would highly recommend using that instead of buying your own. Lighting equipment is bulky, not exactly something you want to store in a dorm room. Now, the massive improvements to LED technology over the past decade have changed the equation. Building your own compact lighting kit is totally doable and affordable. Thanks to the latest LEDs, these also have added benefits over classic tungsten and fluorescent fixtures. Namely, they can be extremely compact and run on batteries. This is why you may want to consider picking up a couple for yourself and building a kit that can end up supplementing other lights you may end up using on set. A nice key, or primary, light is something powerful and modifiable. A filmmaker would go with a single point option such as the Aputure Lightstorm LSC 120D2. It's a very good, very popular light. Another route is an affordable LED panel because it provides a nice softer source and many have adjustable color temperatures for matching other light sources. You can even get both or other types of lights to use in different scenarios. Of course, you can always look into tungsten and fluorescent if you want. To get the best results from your lights, you have to pick up some light stands or clamps. You might find yourself wanting to have a set of filters diffusers, and gels, it will be good for you to take the time to learn about the options available out there and the costs involved in assembling the tools and gear you need for professional lighting techniques and results, eventually, you may also reach the point where it's time to invest in your own scene meter or spot meter, so take a look at what's out there, and think about and plan for the kinds of lighting tools that might be part of your future as a filmmaker.
There are levels to audio, and the best of the best is to have a dedicated sound expert on set to handle all your recording needs. A separate person just can't be beat and audio is just as, if not more important than your video, if you are doing it yourself, or simply want to monitor what is going on while on set or in the edit bay, you will need a set of nice headphones. You don't even need to spend that much to get a solid set with some of the most popular being the Sony MDR7506. These will let you listen to your sound, which is the only way to know exactly what you are getting. Not having headphones would be like recording video without checking your camera's screen. Upgrading your personal camera's audio is the next step if you are doing this on your own. The simplest solution is to go with an on-camera mic that plugs directly into your camera's 3, 5mm input. A Rode video mic will certainly do the trick, these exceptionally small mics can be wired up to your talent and provide crisp. Clear audio for talking subjects, to get better than that. You will need to move up for professional microphones and dedicated audio recorders. Though some cameras do have professional XLR inputs that can work directly with some of these microphones. Go to options for video of the shotgun mic, wireless lavaliers and sometimes cardioid and omnidirectional. Some recommendations would include the Rode NTG3 and Rode e Wireless Go if you are looking for some mics to start with. Keep in mind that you will need some accessories to make the most of them. Including boom poles or lavaliers, if your camera does not have XLR inputs and you want to use a mic that has XLR connectivity, you can always solve that problem with an XLR adapter. An external handheld digital recorder is the best solution for capturing audio and will likely be necessary for professional mics. This is called dual system sound as it is completely separate from the video camera. To make the most of this you will need a slate to mark the start of a take and help with syncing in post. There are a lot of different options for audio recorders. But if you are getting serious about film, always say go for something with at least two XLR inputs, this will give you a good starting point and a little room to expand later on. Many accessories will make life easier, you will want to have filters, diffusion, gaffer tape, work gloves, tape measure, multi-tool, and more small things to really make the most of your equipment and time. The basic features you should look for even in an inexpensive camcorder of full HD, a tripod mount and manual controls. At the end of the day, use this list as a guide as you begin to think about what you need to make a short film. These were some budget-friendly equipment you need for producing a short film, and we hope you liked the video. Please give your support and strength by like, share and subscribing the video. Meet you in the next interesting video.